have to admit, this is probably the most confusing Rune Factory slash Harvest Moon game I've ever played. There has not been a hint of actually farming. None. Why is she saying stuff? That's weird. What a nice warm day. I'm gonna put my crap away. Oh god, there's more rings? Really? Um... Uh, okay. Well, that didn't work. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Kelsey's my little brother. So I look after him. <laughs> I can look after myself. Good morning. You have a really weird deep voice. Good morning to the both of you. I bid you good day. <laughs> See my reflection. Yep, I'm looking good. up just for having the swords out? Is that why? Hello. Elena can be blunt, but she's a good sweet girl. I hope you two can be friends. Please, give her a chance. Yes, of course. Oh my, good morning. <sighs> Do feel free to come by if you ever need advice. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, so this is where the farm, or the medical place is. Are you writing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are. What is it? Are you sick? Are you hurt? Nah, nothing like that. Since I'm living in the house next to the inn now, I wanted to go around and introduce myself to everybody. Oh, you must be the one that Odette mentioned. <gasps> hmm? huh? What's wrong? N nothing, nothing at all. Um. Violet, Lily and Odette from the inn are my big sisters. Nice to meet you, Violet. I'm Aiden. <laughs> and I'm Sonja. I'm sharing Aiden's body right now. We're not really sure how. Anyway, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sonja and Aiden. Grr. What are you upset about? Looks like Gerald works out of these a lot. Oh, he like... Really? He works out, huh? I can't read Gerald's letter. The writing's too fancy. Oh, it's not because you think that's morally wrong. It's just you, you can't read it. It's too fancy. It's full of medicine and medical equipment. Better not touch it. Whoa. 
Okay, guess I kind of have an auto jump. Okay, I definitely came in here before. Potion making materials. Okay, cool. Oh my! Oh, it's her. Okay. Violet. What is this, Violet? <laughs> it's a mixing area for making medicine. If you're interested in it, I'll give you some recipes. I apologize for it being so dusty. Thank you. You're welcome. You can buy ingredients from the clinic, so please stop by any time. Um, you too, Aiden. I'm confused. I think she has a crush on Aiden, but I'm a little... I'm not sure, so I'm assuming this is the kid's room. A half-read book. Obviously belongs to kids. <laughs> no one reads a full book. <laughs> um. There's so many different kinds of flowers and plants. I can't tell them apart. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. What the heck's that mean? Does that mean they have an event? a good friend. What? It's midday. Oh, nice fountain swanky. Let's go in the back door. Wow, you look high maintenance. My my, welcome. Hello. You must be the new neighbors I've heard so much about. Merwin mentioned you. I'm Electra. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Sonja, and I'm Aiden. So, I guess you're the maid at the mansion, Electra? It must be quite a staff to keep this place clean. Or it might just <laughs> take well, whatever. <laughs> Lady Electra. How many times have I told you that I'll do those chores? I thought she was the lady of the house, besides her mother. But I simply love to clean. And I can't pay you any wages, so I can't bear to make you work. It's fine. Just act like the noble lady that you are and sip tea in the garden or something. Merwin can be so difficult. You're the one who's difficult. Uh. What are you doing here again? What do you want? Oh yeah, I'm not saying that darn name again. Unless you have business with the descent... Oh, whatevers. Get lost. <laughs> what is with the attitude? I do apologize. Merwin 
can be a bit abrasive, but she really has a kind heart underneath it all. Huh? Lady Electra, <laughs> must you say such things about me? Uh? Um, Lady Electra? That's right, I present to you Lady Electra de Sante Coquil. <laughs> The noble lady of this mansion. I can understand why you're surprised. You don't see too many noble women who love doing housework like she does. But we are in difficult times. Now, let's see. Since you are paying us a call, you must meet my mother as well. Well, she's out back. We've met her. She is the mayor of the island. I suspect you can find her in the back garden. Anyway, I should get back to cleaning. Good day to you. Where'd she go? Where the heck'd she go? The lady just freaking teleported. Electra? Hello? Well, I'm assuming this is her room. It's so pink. Ooh, is that a diary? Half read book. It's pretty thick. Oh. I was hoping it was a diary. Read some dirt. Hello. Good afternoon. Now, what shall we have for dinner? I don't know. Wonderful! I didn't say anything, you crazy lady. She's asleep. That's so cute. I still have no idea what these things are. <laughs> no idea. I'm just gonna guess it means progress. We'll just keep going with that. So this way... The weather has cleared up nicely. Good day for a smooth voyage, I'd say. Mm. Quite indubitably. Mm, what a nice aroma! I had Odette make me lunch. To go! She's such a sweet girl! Cleaning is such fun! Won't you join me? Are you gonna clean the bar too? Finally, a chance to rest. It's been a long journey. Hello! Wow. Okay. Look at that huge plant. It's so green! Very observant. Do pe okay, so do people live in this one? And then, like, the guests sleep in this one? Is that how this works? Say it's more you are way too happy go lucky. Why are you taking his side? 
I agree. <laughs> the girl at the Gemini General Store is so full of vim and vigor. Who talks like that? Vim and vigor. Someone raised the cherry tree with a lot of care. 